Okay, uh, hey everybody, welcome back to the carriage play of Chrono Cross. We're like flexing right now, look at that. Uh, I'm, um, not flexing, I'm, uh, what is it, when you're... Swelling? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I like can't when you, When you're really, like, nervous or you're, um... Um, I wouldn't like you know it's um you know the thing with the, the deal the, the thing, and the the thing the, with the, the muscles that are all tensed up. What do you what do you call it? Your um the deals the deals. I've got the deals. You're yeah. I have no idea. You have no ideals. I have no ideals. Hello. Uh, watch out for the traps. Don't touch anything. Uh, I. I can see a very obvious puzzle here. What do you mean? What puzzle do you see? Like a clenched up, I think. Oh, that's what, that's what you meant. To say. You were just about to talk to that treasure chest. Uh -huh. I was like, oh no. I was clenching. Okay, we need a shield. Oh, grab the shield, grab the shield. Okay, I just don't want to fight any of these. Leave me alone, blobs. A little, what a like lazy enemy design. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no! <laughs> well, the, it, it, this game was spo uh, partially sponsored by Orbits. Uh, what? <laughs> what the, the gum? No, the, was it. Oh, the travel agency? No, there was a drink back in the late 90s. It was like this really gross, like syrupy drink that had like little bits of gelatin floating in it. And it's called Orbits. Sounds good. So you're drinking like a like nasty lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I love nasty lava lamps. Yeah, and I think it was called Orbits. Hmm. I mean, I feel like uh, I've had drinks like that. Like when you go to like a one of those like Asian supermarket type oh, stores. Oh, uh, yeah, Thai um, bubble tea. You're thinking or maybe? Or uh, yeah, bubble tea. Yeah, like, I've had stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the same principle. I've only had Orbits once, and it's like, oh, never again. Hmm. Now I want some. Uh, yeah, look on eBay for... Uh, an old can? For, you know, 25-year-old Orbits. Expired in, uh... Have you ever heard of Crystal Pepsi? Heard of it, yeah. Okay, back in the early 90s... Pepsi was trying to rebrand itself by um, having completely clear Pepsi that didn't actually taste like Pepsi. Huh. Would it taste like Sprite? I No, it didn't. It was just kind of nasty. It, I, I have a hard time in my memory defining what the flavor was. Um, but it was just didn't take off, as you'd expect. Um, but I'd seen something, some eBay deal... Because they discontinued it very shortly after, and what Crystal Pepsi looks like unopened in the the in the bottle, mm -hmm. it's just like this really gross gray yellow liquid. As as everything in that bottle is gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, honestly, like a lot of pop, if it like doesn't have food coloring, would would look like that, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I, you know, it's probably not safe to drink. I still have in my office, and I can't remember, I, I actually can't remember the circumstances in which I had acquired this. A garage sale, I'm pretty sure. Was it, okay, when uh, at a garage sale they were selling an unopened, and this was the early 2000s? Yeah, I, th I think mom and I, mom and I used to go to garage sales like every weekend, uh, and I'm pretty sure I was with mom, and mom picked it up because it's go ahead and finish even say, I don't think you'd even described what it is oh right so um I don't even yeah I didn't remember even how I yeah came in possession of this other than it was probably a garage sale thing in the early 2000s um so you and mom went to a garage sale and bought a can of unopened mash beer yeah mash as in like mash for 077 uh, the TV show MASH. Yeah. A beer themed after the TV show made concurrently with the TV show. <laughs> and they were selling this unopened can of MASH beer. 
And I was like, wow, I love that show. And uh, so, and to have this unopened can of beer, I still have it in my office. Um, I'm pretty sure it... I mean, maybe I don't remember exactly right, but I think it was just like one of those things where it's like you just see it and you kind of go, oh, it's 25 cents and it's would make like a funny gift and like we had a bar at, or at the at the house so it became a bar decoration and one of those things that like drunk people would try to play like a betting game to see if they would dare open it and drink it kind of thing okay what did doing the shield thing get us except for an extra battle um, can we talk to the dude yes Okay. The shield has been set. What else remains? What do you see that I don't? Nothing. The comments aren't saying anything. Hmm. Shoot. Well. Shoot. Shoot. Uh. I feel like there's got to be another. Oh, so there's something that's going to open that door between the two snake statues. Yeah. Something. Maybe we can't do it yet. Why not? I don't know. What would we be missing? I'm not sure. No. This has got to be like a... Statue of a snake. Huh. Maybe we did it in like the wrong order? I can't imagine. I just don't know what this next step would be. You could look it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Viper Manor Shield Puzzle Room. Viper Manor. Comments? Why aren't you telling me what I need to do? Okay. Uh, son of a... Bitch. IGN, you dickhead. I need a like an Andy Richter. You know what I mean? Like Andy Richter would... Damn it. Maybe I gotta beat all these blobs. Andy Richter would uh, have it already pulled up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, well in Viper Manor the first time, after setting the decor shield, fighting the five mana wars, and pushing the snake statues into place, a secret passage opens. Inside there are two treasure chests on a pedestal. But when you get close, two snake statues the two snake statues spraying something in front of you, which causes you to lose ten HP every few seconds, and doesn't allow you to move forward. Wait, but we've done both those things. Maybe I just need to fight these things. Is that it? But then do you even get, not get anything? It just dead dead ends you anyway? Okay, the decor shield is an item in Chrono Cross that uh, the shield is used solely for decoration purposes. <laughs> Found at Viper Manor. Use. Place it as the suit of armor that is missing the shield in the, uh, uh, to reveal the hidden room. Is that it? Do we just have to defeat them? I mean, we defeated we those soldiers. I think those were the mana wars. Now I'm just fighting these blobs. Hmm. But then yeah, you don't no, even... Nothing do is, is really even coming up. Weird. Might as well fight this last here's one. Here's somebody asking for a switch port. <laughs> nice. Port begging. <laughs> You're gonna see it. Yeah, that's that's where you do it. That's where that's where Square Enix is looking deep in the fucking like practical dark web of <laughs> game facts. It's like, oh my god, I was reading game facts the other day. Did you know that somebody was asking for a switch port? Yeah, I completely as other forgot people were about asking Chrono about Cross. this like puzzle. <laughs> I completely forgot that Chrono Cross existed. I'm so glad that that person reminded me. OK. 
Okay, there's a switch in the upper right corner of the These room. These things are called glutes. With the two snake statues. If you remember, there was a guard there before blocking the column where the switch is. Oh, uh, so maybe you come back oh, later. Oh, yeah. That yeah. must be it. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. I awesome. love it. I'm glad I fought these gloops. Gloops. One million gloops. <laughs> you just trim those gloops back. Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh... Yeah, it must be there. Lame. Well, I mean, I guess I should be appreciative that this game, uh... God <laughs> damn you. I'm so tired that of was fighting. Great. That was great timing. I'm so appreciative that the game... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just, like, I'm tired of fighting enemies, you know what I mean? Mm. If only there was a button you could press to run away. I wish. God, that would make this game, like... If this game ain't a 10, it's a 9.9. .9. You know what that lyric is? No. It's from that one song, You Make My Speakers Go Boom Boom. Like Boom Boom from Adventure Time? Boom Boom. Which one's Boom Boom in Adventure Time? It's uh, it's the shorthand in uh, Adventure Time for crapping your pants. Oh. For you if you're going Boom Boom. Nice. <laughs> uh, Do it. Okay, Christ. Chrono, oh. Chrono Christ. We could just walk through that one. Wow. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh, it's him. Who are you, this guy? Uh, it's pretty cool to, like, just run into, like, these other characters. I'm still snoring over here. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, in Suicoden, Coden, like, running into characters that you can recruit later. Yeah. Only I can open that. Only I can open that. Okay. Except, would it sound like he was inside of a tin can? Yes. I don't want to go over there. Wait, what is it? Uh, who are you? Well, I am Zoa. One of the four valiant divas of the Acacia Dragoons. What, what is it? Uh, who are the four divas? Actually, I'm doing like a Patrick Star thing. I, think <laughs> I was doing Victor before. I don't know. He's kind of got like the like bright pink skin, like Patrick oh Star. Oh my gosh! Do you think it's Patrick under that helmet? Probably. It's probably I where say he wears four, the helmet. But actually, there are only three of us: Karsh next door, Marcy in the library, and I. Our leader Dario died in an accident three years ago. What is it? Tell me about Dario. It's a me, Dario. <laughs> Dario, Dario. He wielded the holy sword Einlanzer and was trusted confidant of General Viper. He was engaged to the general's daughter, Miss Riddle, and was next in line to become the head of the Viper clan. However, he died in an honorable death during his mission to the Isle of the Damned three years ago. Karsh was on that same mission, but refuses to say much about it. Dario and Karsh were childhood friends, always competing with one another. Dario's death happened soon after he was engaged to Miss Riddle. Many rumors had surfaced regarding his death. Well, thank you for telling all this, Noah. He's kind of like so, a Wikipedia. Uh, well, that's the end of his knowledge base, though. Let's ask him about, like, uh, sauropods. <laughs> uh, Jurassic sauropods. Sure. A tri triassic sort of You know, it is interesting to me, like, I, I love Wikipedia as a resource. I can't ever imagine going and, like, posting on Wikipedia. Oh, yeah, that's for, um... Man, if you start doing that, that is your life now. <laughs> the, the people who do it, it's... Yeah. Look at oh, that cool reflection. reflection, dude. 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 Oh, cool bar, dude. 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 Cool cactus, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Was this me? Yeah, probably. Yeah, what do you want? Um. Who is Sergey? Who's a Sergey? Oh, you mean Junior? 
I had orders to bring in the ghost of that boy who died ten years ago. But we had unexpected company and he got away. He seemed way too human to be a ghost though. Oh, I don't know what that guest from Paul Ray wants with him. Did you know that guest and ghost are from the same root Indo-European word? Hmm. Yo, don't open that. Do you anything else you want to talk to him about or? Um, shoot. She, shoot. Uh, it's General Viper. The general is the head of the Viper clan and his Govern these islands for generations. But that's not all. When he was ordered to take up a new post on the main continent, he made quite an impact as the leader of the Cassia Dragoons and was promoted to the general. To general. He has retired from the army since then and currently re- serves as the Lord of El Nido. Have we been to El Nido or heard of it yet? Uh, El Nido is this archipelago that the whole game takes place in. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, oh. Uh, three right, five left. Alright. Five right, three left. <laughs> this is like, so we, we're doing... It'd be funny if like, we've, it's gone too long and it's changed since yeah. we've been uh, fussing around. Um... We've been doing like a long recording session to play just more Chrono Cross simply because we did not want to forget what the code to this door was. <laughs> Hope there's not a boss battle up here. Man, that would suck. Actually, they may not be right here. I remember this area from Dark Souls 2. Uh, left. Nope. Interesting Whoa. architecture, very art deco. Yeah. This is a cool shot. Dynamic. There's going to be a lot of talking up here, I think, right? Yes. I think you can count on it. Do we need to talk to her? Yes. So, like, what are you doing here? Check goons aren't allowed up here, you know. We're not really dragoons. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, why did we get out? So, like, what's your point? What is it, Marcy? Is someone there? These old eyes can't see anything. Some weirdos. Hey, Marcy, lower the ladder, please. All right. This guy looks like me three years ago. <laughs> you wish. Man, was so that guy, it's like, so if like Marcy just left, that guy would have been stuck up there. If, oh, then you must click. not be one of our dragoons. It's funny, last night I finished up that zombie picture and you and Jess both posted about how that looks like me. Well, I didn't corpse. like independently do it. I just replied to Jess. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still hurts. So, ch- so check still, out still so check out at Bionbu on Instagram. Oh my, you must be, oh yes, yes, you must be so gay. To be fair, that zombie picture did look like you. Yeah, too much hair. Hmm, how are you, boy, how have you grown, how have, how are you, how, <laughs> something, something growing, <laughs> growing, oh, grown, uh, yeah, grown, grown. Yeah. Like, can I kill him yet? Patience, child, patience, I need to have a word with these people, and then you can kill <laughs> Who are you? And how do you know Sergei? How do I explain? I guess you could say I am the prophet of time. Listen carefully. The world is not just a single entity. Another world exists to, uh, similar to our own. Another world similar to our own exists in another dimension. 
There you will find uh, what you uh, might have become, a world of possibilities that might have existed, a whole history that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. We are simply unable to see, feel, or experience it. Whoa. I just pumped this chamber full of... <laughs> I don't Some know, sort, sort of, of drug. Neurotoxin. <laughs> Sergey, this world is not the world you grew up in. Well, it's a really trippy PowerPoint. I know, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years ago, something happened that put your very soul teetering on the balance of the scales of fate. With a 50-50 chance of life or death. <laughs> About there. 60-40 you know, <laughs> maybe on the outside. <laughs> This is when your future was split in twain. Mark Twain. In your home world, you survived to live a happy and a prosperous life. That is how you made it to the present point in time. However, here in the alternate world, you are in fact very dead and buried. You died ten years ago, but this world's timeline has flowed on regardless. You have no place in this world. Here you are but a ghost, brought back from the past. I do not know what happened ten years ago, nor can I guess what triggered your e entrance into this world. The location where such divisions in time-space continue occur are cold. Angelus Herrera. 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 Where angels lose their way. That seems like this prophet, like he in high school, wanted to start this band called Angelus Herrera. And like nobody no, knew what. It, yeah, and he's like, "No, you don't get it. It's like really cool. It means where the angels lose their way, and oh, it's going to be really epic." This is a, a call out to um, uh, um, uh, Zelda Two, whereas my name is Arere. Oh, it is said that <laughs> it's, it's a weird joke. Okay, it is said that there the borders of the two dimensions fluctuate in such a way as to make the passage between the parallel rela re 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 realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle. And maybe, just maybe, the vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle. Of course, no one can say for sure. Except for Masato Kato. <laughs> it's in his design doc. Well, how do we get downstairs? Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's Hello, trippy. Magic. Magic. However, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Depending on the location, the two worlds influence each other in strange ways. I am quite certain there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. For your information, FYI, <laughs> if you if you press the start button on the world map, a menu window will appear that allows you to display which world you are in. Wow, breaking the fourth wall. Your home world or another world. Select on to display this. <laughs> If what you say is true, and this world is an alternate reality, then why the bloody hell did Sergei die? The reason has to be something that happened ten years ago. You can only find out by moving on. No way, I'm gonna let you... Shut up, you little brat. Can I, can I, uh... I guess it cannot be helped. This may be fate in itself. We ain't here to play jacks. I advise you not to take Marcy lightly. This child is one of the four divas, the highest rank of the Acacia Dragoons. 
What? This little brat. Hee <laughs> hee. Too late now. Say bye bye. Great, a boss fight. Can we run away and save it? Unfortunately, no. I mean, uh, maybe. Actually, we could probably run away. We could run away from every boss fight. Yeah, let's go run away and go save it. And go oh, fight. Look at that camera just wiggling around. Some boss fights, when you do run away, it just like brings you to like a menu, like chance to. Yeah, but we're standing next to the exit. Let's just bail. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, Where does the uh, treasure guy come from? Oh, are they're they? Just, they're just. Blocking. Do they work for her? That makes oh. so much sense. This is a cool library, by the way. Library? It's a library. Library? Library. Library. It's my favorite. Library. Ice cream flavor. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. We'll see you next time, everybody. Okay. Bye.